Hey guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlock. So firstly, I'm sorry about this weird camera angle. Um, I've got my other tripod set up. It's got my light on it and I haven't got another tripod for the camera. So I'm having to do it selfie mode. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Uplexa using a Android phone or TV box. So I'll be showing you the demonstration on a Android phone. Now this wallet is really cool because it's probably one of the simplest um, miners that I've used. Sorry, not a wallet. It's actually one of the simplest miners that I have used and it's for Android devices. So the other cool thing is you don't need any special permissions, you don't need to have your device rooted or anything like that, so it's like super user friendly. So that's what I'm going to show you in this device, how to mine Uplexa using your Android device. So let's get into it. Let's get started. So mining Uplexa on an Android phone. So my girlfriend kindly lent me her phone, she doesn't actually know about this of course. So this is just a factory default uh, phone. It's running Android um, 7 or 8, doesn't really matter which. The phone doesn't need to be rooted or anything like that. So we can just kind of just get started right off the bat. So the first thing that we're gonna do is download the miner. So if you visit the link in the description, I'll put a direct link to you, uh, for you guys. And it's a link to the APX file. So effectively the APX files are kind of like um, they are the applications but you have a direct access to them and the link is um, here but I'll put a direct link for you guys to get started so then from the menu it's going to start downloading so it will say a security message like this and it will just say that by default the application gets blocked so you want to go to settings and then you want to allow from unknown sources uh, allow for this installation only so what I will say is that you have to have a certain amount of uh, trust when downloading these kind of applications that are not via the Play Store. So I'd recommend only using them probably on like your spare phones rather than your main devices. And then we want to go to open. So we've got uh, some information here regarding the run of the Uplexa miner. So effectively this will use a lot of your CPU power and it will drain your battery if you run it full time all the time. So we just agree to that. So then the miner is, this is the main interface. So it's very simple um, to use. The only parts that you have to change is this wallet address up here. So I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to cut that out. Uh, didn't mean to cut it out. Uh, if you go back to the, um, just my video here. So all I'm getting from this is my um, Uplexa uh, wallet address. So I'm gonna copy that Uplexa address. If you don't already have a Uplexa wallet, check out my um, Uplexa wallet video. It will get you up and running with it. So going back to the miner, I'm gonna paste my Uplexa wallet address in there. The pool is currently set to pool box and now we have our um, Uplexa wallet address. So we're gonna mine on this address and it's gonna pay out via this pool, but there's no other information that you need to do. You don't need to change the pool or anything like that. The payments are done um, automatically. So the next part is your CPU threads. So this has eight cores, this particular processor, it's a Samsung S7. And you can also set the max CPU usage. So what I would recommend um, is you just start with like lower numbers and kind of build up from there. Uh, previously, I've used uh, four threads and we can set it to say 75% max CPU usage. There's like a slight glitch there. When you set it to 75%, it doesn't quite show in that box. Um, but if you set it higher than that, uh, what can happen is your phone might seem unresponsive. So I would start with a lower number of threads um, to get started and build up from there. Then if you just press the start button on the bottom left hand side, you'll see this uh, kind of console interface with the green text. It'll take a few minutes to get up and running, um, but what you'll start seeing is these accepted shares, so they're always a good indicator. And after a few moments, you should start seeing a hash rate in hashes per second. Um, I think when I previously tested this, I was getting around about 130 hashes a second, something like that. And um, for reference, this uh, device, if I'm using half the CPU, it probably uses about three or four watts. So it's a pretty efficient setup um, so the first hash rate is coming in there, it's uh, 168, so that was uh, faster than last time. Like I said, I thought it's only 130, or maybe just from memory, I'm not getting it quite right from memory. So 168 hashes per second, so that's really good performance. It's a very efficient miner. 
So you guys are gonna be asking me about your wallet payments and all that sort of stuff. Like I say, if you've already created a Uplexa wallet and you can mine to your address, the pool will pay out to your address automatically. So all you really need to do is log into your wallet address and you should see some payments there. Uh, you can also check your stats on the Uplexa uh, website. Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching. I certainly hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It was just a short and sweet one, as they say, and just to try to give you, you know, the basic information for you guys to get started. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.